Hey everybody, this is Vanessa with V Beauty Online, and I'm here with you today to do a quick review on e.l.f. brushes. These will include some of the regular line brushes, the studio line brushes, and the mineral line brushes. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the ones that I have from their regular line. These are the ones that I think are the most critical and the best that they offer in their regular line. I don't have all of them just because I have all of the studio, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with this one. This is e.l.f. Concealer Brush, and it says it right on here what it does. I don't think you can see it because of my lighting, but you see how small the head of that is? It's very flat it gets the job done. It's nice, it's got synthetic hair, so it's very durable. I don't really use this for concealer, I use this for um, detailing of the eyes, but you could use it for anything that you really like that requires a lot of uh, a medium detail. And this next brush, nobody should be without. I'm going to show you my better one, that one my dogs chewed. This is the eyeshadow brush. These are everything from their regular line is a dollar a piece. And I mean you guys you cannot beat it. I mean look how beautiful this is. Nice pearlized white handle. Pretty long. And this is really good for packing on shadow. There you go. There's a good view of the brush. I love this brush. I have like five of them. Okay, the next brush that I say to get from the regular line is the foundation brush. Again, this is synthetic hair. Really soft. And what it does is it applies a seamless airbrushed look for foundation. Very nice. I find that the regular lines don't shed very much, so that's actually a plus. The next one that I say you should get from the regular line is the blending brush. This one right here does good for your crease, blending out the harsh lines, very soft. They're all the same length handle. So those four, again, from the regular line, the cover-up, the concealer brush, the eyeshadow brush, definitely if you don't get anything else, stock up on these. The foundation brush, and the blending slash crease brush. Okay, moving on. This is their studio line. This is their fan brush. All of these are made with synthetic hair as well. There you go. This fan brush is great for wiping away fallout underneath your eyes. Um, it's a very, <clears throat> very wispy hairs. It's not as, uh, it's not as strong as I would like it to be, or as dense. It's just very, 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 very soft. And then again, these the, all the studio lines have black handles. And it's written on there what it is. So this is the fan brush. Okay, this next brush is the studio line contouring brush. This is the same thing, basically, as the regular lines <clears throat> blending brush. But it's a little bit shorter and a little bit denser than the blending brush from the regular line. I don't know if you can... Hold on. If you can see the difference there. I'm so sorry about this lighting, you guys. But yeah. The one on the right is from the regular line and it's a little bit fluffier and a little bit bigger. And the one on the left is the one that's a little bit more of a dome shape. I really highly suggest getting both of these. This one on the right for blending. This one on the left for the contour and getting that outer V. Okay, the next brush that we have from the studio line is their foundation brush. Or their concealer brush, excuse me. This one's a lot skinnier and a lot wider of a paddle. There we go, there's some good lighting. A lot wider of a paddle than the other one is. It's flat, and it's synthetic hair, so it's very dense. And you can use this for eyeshadow for packing on color as well. But if I was going to choose between the regular line and the studio line for a concealer brush, I would pick the studio lines. 
it just gives me a little bit more to work with. Okay, the next brush from the Studio Collection is their Eyeshadow C brush. This is for packing on color. It's basically the same as the regular line brush, except for it's a little bit shorter. Let me put those two together. Yeah, not very much difference at all. Just this one's more dense. So really, I would save your dollar and get this one right here on the right. About the same thickness. And all of the Studio Line brushes are $3 a piece. So if you get this set of 10, it's $30. The next brush that I'm going to show you is the Angled Brush. This brush is great for precision. Look how thin that is. Very good for applying eyeliner in de small details, but this is supposed to be used for eyeliner or underneath your eyes, underneath your bottom lashes. Again, it's synthetic hair, it's all synthetic. Okay. And this right here is their small precision brush. This is about the same thing as the regular lines foundation brush. Very thin. It's round, rounded in shape, but it's, it's very thin for details, fine lines and details. I would save your money and get the foundation or the uh, concealer brush from the regular line because they're both the same thing, except for the regular line is just yellow. There's no difference. Except for the price. One's three dollars and one's one dollar. <coughs> the next brush is the small smudge brush, and this one I need to clean, but it's just more of a flat top, not really all the way flat, but just a little bit flatter. Very, very, very thin. I use this for smoky look and to kind of smoke out eyeliner. Again, I would save your extra two dollars and get the one from the regular line. But it's always nice to have a little bit of selection when it comes to brushes. That way if one's dirty, you can use the other one. Okay, the next brush from the Studio line is my, perhaps has to be my favorite. This reminds me a lot of the Mary Kay Mineral brush. It's flat on the top. It's super, 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 super soft. And this is the powder brush. But I recommend it for mineral powder because it really can get a lot in, down in those bristles and can apply it evenly and makes it look very buffed out. Um, this is my e.l.f. Okay. <clears throat> the next two from their studio line that I have, I have the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. It's just a real fat, big powder brush. You can use it for bronzing, highlighting, anything that you'd like. It's pretty thick and it's contoured towards the top. And the last brush that I own from the Studio line is their angled foundation brush. There's really not much difference in between this one and the, and the other one except for this one's angled. And it can maybe help you get into those corners a little bit better, but other than that, there's really not much difference. They both feel the same. One's black and one's yellow. One's three dollars and one's one dollar. Okay. The next two brushes that I have from e.l.f. I really do not care for, but they're good. I mean, they're not the best that e.l.f. makes. Um, the first one, and I'll tell you why. The first one is the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. It's for their minerals. It's nice and big, but it sheds. Um, it's got some red coloring to it, and it, I mean, I don't know if it's just me. I've only used it a few times, and then when I washed it, I found that, you know, I mean, it it shed a lot. And, and a lot of people say, you know, <clears throat> the more you wash your brushes, the less that they're going to shed. But, I mean, we'll see. But I really love using this brush, so... And you can see there, I'm getting some shedding already just from playing with it. But, I mean, this really gets the whole face powdered. I mean, you could even use it on your shoulders or on your neck. And I have a little bit left, so I'm going to go on to the contouring brush. This is a great brush. It's, a, um, it's an angled brush, and it's used for your contour right underneath your brush, or right underneath your blush to give your face.